Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for January 26, 2023, the Offices Searched Editions. And begin with that story as from the International Consorci- Consortium of Investigative Journalists, the ICIJ. The police have searched the offices of PwC and the Boston Consulting Group in Angola in the corruption probe against uh, the daughter of the former president, Isabel Dos Santos. Three years after the Luanda leaks exposed how Africa's wealthiest woman created a shell empire uh, to uh, move money around, now they're finally uh, beginning to look at some of the key advisors who uh, were involved with her when she was in power. Uh, Dos Santos has been under intensified criminal and civil investigations since early 2020 when the ICIJ Uh, published the Luanda leaks, and the cross-border investigation showed that Dos Santos, then recognized as Africa's wealthiest woman, uh, engaged in a variety of shell corporations to move money around. Next up, in a very interesting and perhaps even troubling decision, the Delaware um, Chancery Court has um, said that shareholders can sue uh, corporate executives for uh, violating their duty of oversight. Now, this was in uh, the context of uh, McDonald's former global chief people officer, and he allowed a culture of sexual harassment to flourish. Um, And now shareholders can sue those persons individually. Well, now you start thinking about a culture of corruption um, pervasive in an organization, uh, and now the, share, uh, now the individual executives can be liable uh, directly from the shareholders. This really opens up an entire new can um, for shareholders. Uh, next up, uh, from the risk, uh, Wall Street Journal, Risk and Compliance Journal, Richard Vandeford reporting that a U.K. gambling company was fined $7.6 million over alleged money laundering control issues. Uh, the country's gaming commission uh, fined the company InTouch Games uh, that equivalent after citing a f- series of failures in its program to prevent money laundering going forward. And our final story comes to us from the Financial Times, and it lists four great podcasts about women. Uh, <clears throat> uh, the Financial Times is behind a firewall, so I'm going <clears> to <throat> read them out. Is hybrid work a trap for women? Number two, blaming the boss is never the answer. Number three, friendship in the workplace. And number four, is maternity leave a career killer? So if you want some great podcasts about women issues in the workplace, check out the FT or any of those podcasts. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.